September 1 is about when I'd like to get this stuff in, just so it grows a little bit more. But you have to remember, most of the biomass from both the rye and the vetch will happen next spring. So I want it in a window. I want it to precede something that I'm not planning on planting right away next year. I want it to precede something where I can let this grow out till early May, and middle of May even early usually, and have it be really high, full of vegetation and biomass, suppressing weeds, and also um, contributing up to 250 pounds of nitrogen per acre in the case of the batch. plan to leave two or three weeks ahead, uh, especially if it has uh, rye in it, if I'm doing direct seed in. Transplants probably two weeks. If you get a nice mix of vetch, like you've got a like half vetch mix, the, it breaks down fairly quickly because all the nitrogen and the vetch mixes with the, the rye. I'm trying to kill the rye when it's vegetative. And a lot of people will say, if you read in the books, it'll say, well, the easiest time to kill rye is when it starts to make its seed head. Um, and rye and all grains go through a couple of phases. The first phase is like vegetative. The second phase, they call it booting up. That's when you can feel inside the stem. You can't see the flower yet or the grain head, but you can feel that it's fat at the base. It's starting to make a stalk. I don't let it go past booting up stage because when I do, if I was just going to fallow that field or not plant something in it till July or you know a late July planting of a fall brassica, that would be fine. But if I'm going to plant into it earlier, I don't really like to let the rye get too lignous and too stemmy because then it doesn't break down very well. It grows super fast. It puts on a lot of biomass and it purports that it can fix as much as like 90 pounds or 100 pounds of nitrogen in as little as like 60 days. It's kind of, it looks like a more of a pea, the seed does, and you can see that it's just very tender and vegetative. So it doesn't, it, it's winter, it win, will winter kill. It's not, um, it's not something that you can use over winter. It tolerates a frost, but not a freeze really, or not a, a hard freeze. So, uh, Chickling vetch is a really interesting, I think, because it's it's a, a very fast growing cover crop that in as little as 60 to 90 days can put on a fair amount of nitrogen fixation.